Hi everyone, it's Mads from Den of Leather and I'm here with Rich and Chris from Stonebrook and how are you guys? Not good. bad, you're really good. So you've just come off stage here at the Winterstone Festival in Troon in Scotland. How yep. did you enjoy your set? It was great. We had a, a packed out hall, didn't we? It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, uh, we'd spent pretty much the whole day outside because there's been some fire alarms going off. And it was freezing. It was cold. It was here, really man. cold. It is cold. Like, <laughs> it's cold where we are, but wow. But up here, it's, it's crazy. I was like, <laughs> looking like that. But to, to go up on stage and to, um, and to play a show like we played and the, the crowd were really receptive. Yeah. It just made everything, yeah. everything worth it. You know, we had a flat tire coming here <laughs> yesterday. It was pulled up in the services, yeah. freezing cold. But, uh, but no, it's it was never great. a stand broken tour show if nothing goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has there's, to there's go a, like wrong. air wallaces yeah. went down, oh, and went down all this sort of stuff. But no, it was, it was brilliant, and we had a great so. time. So. so, you guys have had a pretty amazing year with so many festivals and gigs. Um, how do you look back on it? What are your highlights? <sighs> so think, many. Yeah, I think download for us was a big one. It was massive. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. Playing in that tent, and we, we got there and we thought. Okay, we'll probably have a tent that's half full because the dead days is playing at the same time. We thought yeah. a lot of people just float, float to there. But as we were playing, and we just looked out, and that it's tent packed. was just filling, filling, filling. Yeah. filling. Was, and we played, and we got off, and we just like shell shocked a little bit. Just <laughs> yeah. like, just but then also, um, Rambling yeah. Man. We played the main stage of Rambling Man to thousands of people. It's just, that's, it's one of those things that you'll never forget. No. You know, the f first time playing the main stage at a major festival. So, um, I th yeah, we've had a really good festival season, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, all the festivals we've played have been really good. Yeah. And we've had a lot of fun doing them. It's, so. it's just difficult to pinpoint a highlight because there's been so many yeah. different things. Like, we've, we've toured with Glenn Hughes, with Cheap Trick, with uh, Living Colour. So, and, and to do all that, as well as do all the major festivals, yeah. it's just, it's been an, an incredible year. So you had great success with your first album, which you self-released, but you've just signed a new record deal. So what does that mean for the band next? Hopefully it means the next level, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, we, we've signed to uh, Spine Farm Records, who are part of Universal, so it's quite a big uh, record label. And we've just started working with them uh, properly now. We've, we, we had the record done uh, before we signed. Um, so they didn't really have any steer on how we wrote or the direction of the album. That was all still yeah. with us. But now what they do is they're going to take what we've already done and hopefully just throw it through the roof. You know, that's that's kind of what we're looking for. Yeah, I think it's just getting it out like you. Uh, yeah, and it's it's a worldwide release, so, so that's going to push us in a lot in a, in a in a in a larger area. You know, there's going to be territories that we've not been into before. So it's been really positive so far. Like they've been really like into us and into the new songs and really yeah. want to get us out there and work yeah. with us. So. They, they, un yeah. they understand Stonebroken and what we do, so which is, it's it's going to be an awesome partnership, I think. Yeah, definitely. So, for anyone that's not come across you before, how would you describe your sound? Um, I'd, I'd say Bits. riffs, yeah, <laughs> riffs in your face, loud and catchy choruses. Yeah, and like we, we like to make it big as well. We want a big yeah. sound. All our massive bands sound. have that huge yeah. soundscape, and we we try to replicate that as best yeah. as we can. I think on the uh, the new record that's coming out next year, we've sort of become a little bit more dynamic. Yeah. You know, so it's not just loud all the time. Yeah. We've got lots of peaks and troughs, so. So as you were putting the band together, who did you find were your biggest influence? We we listened to a lot of American yeah. rock, um, sort of like Shine Down, uh, See the Hailstorm, uh, Blackstone Cherry. That's a massive one for us. I mean, we've, we've got lots of diff our own influences, and, and kind of that's the middle ground, isn't it? Yeah, like the yeah, Alter yeah. Bridge, all those sorts of bands. So, American riff rock, basically. That, that's kind of where we all gel. Yeah, yeah. So, what are your plans for Stonebroken next year? Next year, we've got um, a new record coming out on the 2nd of March, and we headline around the UK, and we've got some European dates to support that. Starts on the 22nd yeah. of Feb all the way through to um, middle to late March. So um, that's that's the main yeah. bulk of it. That's the first half of the year kind of there. I think after that we want to hit the festivals hard as well. Hopefully yeah. European. Yeah, we've, we've been announced for Grass Pop over in Belgium. So that's going to be incredible. Um, and yeah, we, we just want to get out on the road as much as possible and, you know, really try and kickstart the, uh, the whole, the the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
thank you so much for chatting. Make sure you check out Stone Broken and come back to Denim and Butter for more. Bye.